You jobbers and countermen need to know that the candy base coats are much easier to spray and work with than the standard candies. And it's a great beginning place for a painter that wants to get involved in custom and doesn't have a lot of experience. Well, how much better does it get than to have one that's VOC compliant? Even in Southern California in the strictest market using our specialized reducers. And it's simple, really. You take the transnebulae and you add a little bit of uh, candy concentrate to it. And we do have the formulations. They're all listed in our, in our tech manual and online. And then you add a small amount of the effect pack to give it that base. And you need about four coats. Uh, I prefer a darker base when you're working with the candy base coats because it gives that depth. You're looking through all of the pearl and the candy translucency down to that black base. It gives the illusion of tremendous depth and super easy to use and one of the most easy candies to touch up. And yet you get that candy look. I did one years ago uh, on a 34 Ford four-door and it's still winning candy awards. People don't even know the difference between the straight candy and the candy base coat. But what a learning tool to bring a painter on to get him excited about trying the true candies. We talked about the candy base coats, but let's mix one and really show how it works. You know, the most important thing for you, the jobber store, to remember and to put through to the painter is do not add too much of the effects pack because it can tend to surface the candy base coat. So what we're looking for is eight parts of the transnebulae, which again is our, is our clear base coat with the carrier in it. Then we're going to add one part of our candy concentrate, which is going to give it the color. And then we're going to add one eighth uh, on the ratio side of our effects pack. Now it's very important to choose the right effects pack because certain effects packs are not going to work with certain candy colors. And so the best way to experiment with that is on a can lid. Put a drop of transnebulae down with a drop of the candy concentrate and then add a small amount of the effect pack that you think you want to use and smear it around and look at it under a light to see if that's the direction that the painter wants. That way you're not wasting material. So that's important. Let's mix right now. Let's take some of the transnebulae and we're going to put some of that into our mixing cup. We do have a ratio on the cup right here where it shows the eight parts to one part to a half part or to an eighth of a part. So we're going to go to the first line. There we go. Now we're going to add some candy concentrate to bring some color to this. And in this case, we're using KK11, which is our newest formula of candy red. It's absolutely beautiful. Doesn't need very much to make that one part. Let's take a look at that before we do any additive. Takes a little bit to get it mixed in, but look at how gorgeous that is. I mean, look at the colorant that we've got. I mean, that is a beautiful candy by itself. We've done our eight to one mix with our colorant. Now it's time to bring in the effects pack. We've chosen FX32 Red Pearl. And we're good. that's a good color for apple red, actually. Take the lid off. And I would normally measure this if I was doing it for a customer, but you don't need very much. Take a look at how much we're putting in. Very, very little for the amount that we're mixing. Now, let's stir this and just look at what happens to that. Look at how it picks up a whole new look. And this is, you don't want a lot in there because it's floating around in the candy, but when you put it on a dark base, let me tell you, folks, this is exciting. Now we are working on a color card that's going to show the candy base coats with a numerous a bunch of uh, different effects packs so you don't have to do a lot of experimenting. We've already done it for you. But this is neat stuff and what a training method. Now let's, let's do some more just for drill and see what happens if we can wash this out to show you the effects of putting too much in. Now we've added some more. Let's stir it again. It starts to become a base coat when too much is added. You can already see that some of the transparency is lost. So how critical is that? It's extremely critical. But it's still got a good look to it. I don't think I've gone overboard. And that was quite a bit of additional adding. So you can see there's some latitude there. But the fun and the things that you can get with this, it's amazing.
and they make some very, very beautiful, rich looking colors that look very unusual. And painters are going to love them because it's so easy to do. But remember, the darker base gives you the depth. And that's what you want to remember. So you jobbers are going to have a ball turning people on to this stuff. And they're going to have so much fun bringing stuff around and showing you, hey, look what I just did out there. Come on out in the parking lot and look what I just did, man. And that's what it's all about.